Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to make my June favorites. I know I'm a little bit late into the game, but um, you know, I, this is the only time I found time to make a video for you guys. Um, so first I'll start off with accessories, makeup, accessories, and then handbags. And um, so the first item I want to, like this is my all time favorite of the month, is the um, La Mer, Gel de La Mer Moisturizing Gel Cream. Um, I love this stuff to bits. This is a sample size. I ended up purchasing a full-sized bottle of it because this is, like, I love this stuff. Even though the price tag of this item is super, super crazy, um, you know, it, I, I think it's worth it because at the time I sampled this and for like a good week that I used this, my face, my skin overall has gotten so, so much better. Um, my skin has kept the moisture inside my face um, or inside my skin. Um, and I do notice that my makeup stays on much longer because my, my makeup or my face my skin is so much smoother um and you know i just feel i feel like i don't have a mask anymore and i think that's the reason why um i you know i haven't been wearing so much makeup the last like few like the basically the beginning of june and if you've seen my two other videos i didn't have any makeup on whatsoever um so that's what i've been using um, for my face moisturizer and I'll show you the full size bottle so here it is and here it is here's the full size bottle it's pretty big um, you know the sales associate told me this will last me about two to three months so I'd say two and a half months and you know summer in Canada only lasts about two and a half months anyways and it's recommended that this is to be used in the summer so in the fall I will be using like a different cream I don't know what yet but this is definitely my go-to summer moisturizing cream and I love it two pieces I will do a full review on this um, on another video another time um, because I haven't used this uh, for that much longer than um, I should give a re uh, appropriate review on. So I'll probably um, do this sometime later in this month. Okay, and um, my next item here is from Chanel. It is uh, just, it's a small item. It's a compact mirror from Chanel. Um, I've always wanted like a compact, like a proper compact mirror. I've always had compact mirrors that would break too easily or, you know, that was really, really hard to open. Um, and yeah, so I actually ended up forking out the money for a Chanel compact mirror and it, it is a dual mirror. It is like... Um, I think one size is magnetized and one size is like normal. So, and I love using this. I This is part of my everyday item in my purse. Um, because I always find that because um, my face does get oilier during the day, I always check up to see if I need to retouch my makeup or, you know, retouch up my face or whatever. Um, and also for lipstick because... Um, a couple times I've used lipstick without a mirror and um, I just end up having a big like mess on my face so I gave I give I gave in and I purchased this so I really really love this piece too um, okay and next one here is um, it's not really a designer brand but I've recently been using this um, is my moleskin agenda so it's like a fake pleather um small agenda it just gives you inside view of the in of the agenda so it's like a full 2015-2016 ca uh, agenda and this was only $20 um i was gonna like purchase a louis vuitton but you know i figured it's something 
like if I'm gonna use an agenda that I'm just gonna have for a year and then throw it out at the end of the year, I might as well not spend so much, like spend a hundred dollars or something on paper inserts and like four hundred dollars on a jacket, like an agenda jacket. So I went with for the moleskin. Um, it's twenty dollars is still pretty expensive for you know, just for an ordinary agenda book, but um this will do um it's really simple it's clean it has all the essentials that it, that an agenda should have and um what i found really cool about this agenda here is that it has a little um folding folding pocket here it has stickers inside and i found that really really cool um and it has extra like notepad stuff to write things in and every week there is always um Every week there's always one side for notes and then one side is all like for your weekly things to write in or your daily things to write in of the week. And um, it also comes with this like little ribbon here to kind of like bookmark where where you, you've left off in your agenda or to keep track of your agenda and it comes with this little elastic loop or ribbon here just to keep the agenda closed. Um, and it's it's simple. It's it's really cute. Um, Moleskin has been around since like forever, and apparently Vincent Van Gogh has used Moleskin um, for his art pieces to like sketch out and whatever. So I think that's like a really really cool like little history about Moleskin. I'm a huge fan of Moleskin. I do have a couple of their sketchbooks, and the quality of their notebooks is just phenomenal. I love it. Um, okay, so back to designer, and I recently got this like two weeks ago or something, but I really, really love this. Um, I, I, I did purchase it at one time and then I returned it, but then like my sales associate told me about the, the, inc the increase, the, sale, the price increase in Canada, which happened like a week ago, so I really wanted to jump on that um, before I could not get or, you know, before I could get this for a more expensive price. And it is the Louis Vuitton um, Trunks um, Bandeau. It's, it's, it's pretty much like a longer version of the Hermes Twilly. Um, it is much cheaper than the Hermes Twilly. And you get more, obviously, more silk with this and it's really cute I love these little sketches of the like the trunks and the monogram and everything um, and then on the back here just has a simple Louis Vuitton written on the bottom here with a light gray border and a pink background and if you've seen um, you've probably seen this on my Instagram I paired this up with my uh, Fendi Petite Toujours and I wrapped it on the handle and I really really like um, the color um, match between those two they look so girly and dainty and um, it just jazzes up the handbag a little bit more um, and you know I what I really like about this size of the bandeau is that I could wear it as a belt um, you know for dresses and stuff like that so I'm probably going to get a little bit uh, more of these um you know the next coming weeks or whatever um because i i find i don't really like belts i like you know just using you know ribbon or whatever around my waist and you know these are really cute and subtle it, they're not like leave it like screaming out louis vuitton or whatever um and i like how on the back they can just like um i'll just show you here so in the back, it can just like hang just basically on the back here. And I think it looks really, really cute. It doesn't go really well with what I'm wearing, but if I'm wearing a black dress, this will definitely look really, really good. So I am looking to buy more of these. But luckily, the price of these did not increase. But, you know, it's better to buy this now than buy this later and keep on procrastinating until they, you know, decide to up the price on this as well. So... I really really love this um, bandeau here um, and so the next piece I want to feature is 
obviously uh, my Sarah wallet in the multicolor uh, noir print and um, despite me having um, issues with uh, the glazing on this um, I, I love the functionality of this wallet I could put on my cell phone and my headphones in here as well as like my cards and cash and, and stuff in here and I'm ready to go um, for like a quick couple hours out of the office. Um, I've used this um, for lunch um, when I'm with my coworkers, and you know I really like using this. It's fast and I and you know I can keep my phone and everything in here in, in one you know one place. So and I just love the color. Every time I, I go into the wallet I just love the you know, I just love this so much. Um, it's pretty. It's, yes, it's kind of like, it kind of breaks the design rules. It's really, really busy. But you pair this with a very, like, minimal outfit or a ha very minimal handbag. This will look so good and so stunning. And I've seen so many, like, pictures on Instagram of people with their multicolor pieces with a very simple bag or very simple outfit. And it looks so good uh, together. So, um, that's my favorite wallet of the month. Um, so next are, um, going to be handbags. And I've used them quite a lot this month. Um, the first one is my Alma BV in the um, epi leather and the color pivon it is like a lighter um fuchsia pink color and i love this little handbag to death it is i think in my opinion a, an all year round piece you can wear some like all four seasons summer spring fall and winter doesn't matter and this this looks so cute um it fits a whole lot of stuff I could fit my Sarah wallet and a few other stuff in there um, you know it's a small bag but it actually holds just as much almost as much as a large a larger bag and um, it's very light so you don't need to you know worry about the weight of this typically because you can carry a little bit less than you normally would but you can definitely carry your essentials um, you know, and a little bit more, um, and there's a crossbody and everything, um, and I, I think this looks so, so simple with a casual outfit in the summer, um, I don't really dress up that often, I'll just wear a simple t-shirt and jean shorts, and then I'll wear this with it, and it'll complete the look, um, you know, I'm not that formal or anything, so, um, that's my favorite. And the next one is another handbag, and it is from Louis Vuitton, and it is my twin set. This is by far the best summer handbag ever. Um, it's light, it's simple, it's very, it's very slim. Um, you can carry this multiple ways. The crossbody option is so comfortable. Um, you can fit a whole lot in here. You, um, you can fit almost as much. Um, like this is pretty a pretty good comparison to the Alma BB. Um, but the Alma BB can carry a little bit more. But this here will 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 suffice. It does fit my Sarah wallet only in the front compartment. But you know I have no worries about that. Um, and. Um, Long story short, I took this out bike riding and I swung this on the um, behind me when I was uh, bike riding and um, my brother notified me that there was bird droppings on the front of the handbag just right here. And I was panicking so much so I went to the nearest washroom um, en route on the bike path and I washed it off. and. Because I was panicking so much, I wasn't thinking about, you know, delicately, you know, patting it and color transfer and whatever. I was rubbing this handbag like crazy with soap and with water, with uh, a wet cloth, 
sorry, wet paper towel and um, foam soap. So I was like rigorous, rigorously rubbing it off and eventually came off. So it is perfectly brand new, uh, no color transfer or anything. Um, you know, went on the paper towel, nothing bled off the handbag. It dried instantly. Um, the inside didn't get wet at all. And the embossing of the print is still kept in very good condition here. So, um, no worries um, on this handbag. And I will definitely be, I'm going to New York two times. Um, uh, for four days in July and uh, three days in August. So this is the one bag that will be accompanying me for both of those trips. Um, and, you know, because I've used this for a bike ride for a good six hours, this really defined that I will definitely be using, this will pretty much be my one and only travel bag of all times. Um, I will make another like updated brutal honest video for you guys on this on this handbag because there's just so much more i want to say about this um and yeah that pretty much sums up my favorites for this month not that much not so much makeup because my makeup routine hasn't really changed or anything um but yeah so i thank everyone for watching make sure to follow me on instagram Catherine is a cat um i update that account more often than i do youtube so more likely you will find out um you know my favorites of the month or you know what's happening with my pieces or you know my adventures into Louis Vuitton or Chanel or whatever, what have you. So um, I thank everyone for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.